Welcome back to Variant Corona. Just wanted to give you all a brief update. As you can see, I'm up uh, on the slopes today, but I have been watching and uh, paying attention to the comments on the videos. I wanted to um, respond to some of the general comments again that I've seen. Um, <clears throat> have not yet put together a response to Tyar Altikulich's book, but uh, that is coming. Don't want to rush that. Um, in reality, the approach that he's taken to my book isn't going to be all that challenging to um, to answer, but uh, but I do want to uh, take my time on it and get it right. Um, in general, what he seems to be saying is that because there are a lot of corrections and because there are a lot of uh, other manuscripts that are possibly contemporaneous to the ones that I've shown in my 20 examples, uh, that uh, the other manuscripts have the expected Rossum as we have today, that therefore there's nothing to see here, that is nothing to be concerned about, um, that it's not anything more than a correction. But um, I don't think it's quite as simple as that, and certainly uh, at least a couple of the ones that I've, um, that I've shown you already seem to not allow that as a possibility, in my opinion. In any event, that seems to be sort of the gist of his of his book. Uh, the other thing is that he um, addresses the issue of Orientalism, and I'll have more to say about that. I have said something about it already, but it, that is just a, a a larger issue that has been uh, an issue in our field of study for a very long time, and I think we need to give that some serious focus. But when I see somebody looking and uh, classifying people as Orientalists, it often means that they uh, intend it as a derogatory term. I don't see it as a derogatory term. I don't necessarily uh, embrace it as the entire definition of who, it, who I am and what I do, but I likewise don't uh, shy away. The Orientalists have done some very good scholarship in our in our area. But um, anyway, we'll we'll deal with that as well. And uh, and then he asked some questions about my motivations. Again, I'll come back to that and, and deal with that in time. Anyway, this video is not a refutation or a, or a response directly, uh, principally or majorly, to Alte Kulich's book. I just wanted to uh, address that in a preliminary form and say hello to all of you. I know it's been a while since I put up a video. And so one other commenter um, asked just this past week, went through and said that my response to Hytham Sidkey's review looked weak and uh, that looked like I was admitting that everything was merely corrections of mistakes, scribal mistakes. And I clearly don't think that's the case. We're still, as I've said, at the very beginning of this area and topic of research. And so it needs humility. And that's the thing I just want to keep coming back to on this is we need humility in looking at these uh, manuscripts. We need to have a lot of people looking and uh, comparing things, as has started to be done. Actually, what uh, Alta Kulich did with finding the uh, other manuscripts in each one of those passages uh, is one of the things that uh, that really should be done on uh, uh, with all of these uh, corrections to assess them. That is one of the uh, one of the steps that is valuable to do with this. But I think we should not jump to the conclusion at the beginning. And I haven't jumped to conclusions at the beginning. I've just put out possibilities, and these possibilities are so very tentative. If you've been watching these videos and you've been reading my book, you know that I've not uh, come to very strong conclusions. I've just put out some uh, very tentative broad strokes things there. So those, um, and I think that's the right way to be doing it. Now, um, we want to approach it with rigor and there are a lot of other people out there doing work with, uh, with a good amount of rigor. We also want to be not um, uh, avoiding and uh, coming quick to the conclusion that, oh, these are just scribal mistakes and, uh, and therefore they were corrected. So I don't know where this leads. I don't know uh, if I know where different camps in there want it to lead, and um, you know we'll we'll see where it goes. But um, let me think if there's something else that anybody has said. Um, there are a couple of other really good questions out there, uh, really good comments. One or two commenters have focused on some of the intertextuality with the Bible, with the New Testament, or apparent inter intertextuality. Actually, it's kind of a um, um, fraught territory when you start talking about the um, well, causality or 
Uh, intertextuality, I think, is fairly fairly obvious that there is the uh, the text of the Quran is speaking about and referring to the text of the Bible. And so I, I think it's something that we need to deal with and pay attention to, particularly when there are biblical themes and possible relation to some particular biblical passage in any of the verses that we're looking at with corrections to consider whether there is some um, uh, something going on, something going on there beyond uh, a mere correction. And the other big question that people have is, do you have corrections that have some theological significance? And I got this question from somebody in a conversation just this past week about the theological significance of any given correction. And I uh, told this person, I just mentioned to them, and I don't know if I've said it on here, but that is obviously a very important question about about theological significance, but it's something that needs to be looked at very closely on a case-by-case -case basis. And the example that I gave to this person is that of David Powers. David Powers, he found one small uh, issue on BNF Arab 328 and wrote an entire book and did some serious thought on that one uh, small correction on a word involving one letter. Um, a lam, a difference between one lam and two. And so if we think about that one correction in one manuscript and think of the thousands that um, I and my uh, uh, friends have located so far, uh, there's a lot of work to do on this, and it's not just quite as easy as saying, um, is there so theological significance to this one? Um, there's probably a checklist that we need to go through to identify the possible theological significance in any given case, but it's, it takes a lot of work and it takes a lot of thought and, uh, and effort and comparison and, and stuff. It's just not as simple as looking at one and saying, is this theologically significant? Sometimes it's probably a little bit more obvious than others, but um, I just wanted to mention that, that uh, it is a very good question to ask, a natural question and an important question, but um, it, it's one that uh, we approach slowly and de deliberately with these things. So I um, want to let you know that I will be coming through with the additional page from uh, BL2165. Sorry, I haven't gotten that edited and out to, to you yet. And upcoming, of course, is going to be a fuller response to Dr. Altikulich's book, uh, responding to my book, and uh, more stuff on the horizon as well as an announcement about my forthcoming uh, book in translation into another language. It is now complete uh, after having been reviewed by um, a proofreader in that language. So it's translated into the language and it's uh, proofread and it's just about ready. So I'll be making an announcement about that uh, soon, hopefully within the this week or next to uh, let you know that it has been published and uh, let you know more about it. That's it for today. I want to thank you for watching, and uh, I'm going to get back on the slopes. Just wanted to check in and say hi. I hope you're all doing well wherever you are in the world, and uh, we will talk to you again soon. Be sure to like and subscribe, and do leave comments. It's getting to where I'm getting a lot of comments, and uh, it's hard for me to respond to everyone, but I do really appreciate those, especially if it's uh, thoughtful and substantive. And as you see, I'm, I'm trying to make an effort to put up some of the best ones of those in videos as well. Okay, we'll talk to you again soon. Take care. Bye.